What's up shavers? Welcome back. So today I wanted to do a tabletop review and shave review of these new blades from PAA. These are called the, well, you can read right here, the Platinum Stranglet. Uh, even though on his website, they break off the strange and the wet part and do a little description. Uh, I highly recommend going to reading um, what took to get these blades produced. Uh, it sounds like it was quite the epic story, but just a quick run through of that. Uh, they started in 2014 all the way till 2021, sometime in February, to get these out and to the people, to the masses, uh, which we're grateful for. And I am super stoked for because I can't think of another like artisan style made blade that wasn't a rebrand. And these blades are not rebranded. They are 100% made and or manufactured, I guess would be the um, right wording for that. So they're not rebranded. They're made from a Swedish steel and they are double coated, the platinum and PTFE coating. Uh, he said the idea came behind marrying two types of blades, a Voshod, I think is how you pr properly pronounce that, and a feather. I don't have any of uh, the Russian blades to show you, but I do have some feathers, and I just want to compare maybe what the blade uh, looks like in the packaging. By the way, obviously awesome packaging. Check this out. They're supposed to be sharp uh, and smooth. And let me tell you, they are. Pretty cool package. Love the artwork. But what's even cooler is when you pull out a blade, you also got the artwork in here. Now we'll go over this in a sec. I'm gonna go ahead and take out one of these. There's several different types of feather packaging, but they generally come in this plastic container which is pretty useful because it has a dispensary in the back, but this isn't a feather review. I'm just gonna compare, maybe see if there's any actual difference between these two. So when you first open the Stranglet blade or Strangelet blade, uh, you're going to peel back right here, which has just a, I think a teeny tiny amount of glue there but not really much else. And you can see that it's not enough to even go through the back of the package here. Now, if you notice something immediately that this type of paper in here is different than the traditional, this type of wax. And you can see this one's got super heavy glue, wax, dots, whatever they're using for this. So when you open this, you got that residue on the blade, and I know that some people don't like that. So these are automatically a contender for the people who don't want the wax or the glue on their blades. Now, I think there's only two or three other blades out there that don't. You can see it, you have to kind of peel those out. They're super sticky. But it leaves quite a residue on the blade, as you can see. As you can see, sometimes it leaves paper behind it as well. So it's not super attractive, but it keeps it from sliding around in there and dinging up the blade or whatever. But you don't have that with these blades. They just come with a, I mean, this almost feels like a velvety soft paper. It's kind of interesting. Now taking a look up close at the blade, You do see some kind of residue here, but I don't, I don't see, I didn't see the residue on the packaging. I guess it is there, look at that. So I actually hadn't noticed that, I'm just discovering that, that it does have such a light amount of residue to hold the blade in. So I, I appreciate that. I'll have to retract my other words but uh, it does have a little bit of those glue dots, but not a lot, to be honest. 
which is nice, and only on one side, just enough to keep it from sliding around. Now if we compare that with a feather, now, feather on one side, strange let on the other. So they don't look, obviously most of these double-edged razor blades don't really look all that different. But if you want it up close view, there it is. Now something I was noticing, is specifically on the tabs, on these ended points here, is some of them, on some blades, they have a teeny tiny, and I didn't notice this till I took a good look at this stringlet blade, or strangelet blade, whichever. Uh, this one doesn't have a ton of sharp tabs, but it has a teeny, teeny, tiny one there. And another one on this. But with these, something I did notice, and I noticed this when I first uh, tweaked the razor, you know, um, tightened down the head, is that it has two sharp points here and there. I don't know. I I hadn't seen some other blades have this, but not all of them. So I don't know if that's a way to cut manufacturing costs. You could see like this one is kind of similar to that other one. It has a little bit something right there. But you can see that for sure these two have a pretty sharp edge. So you gotta be careful when you're uh, closing your blade. Otherwise, this razor is awesome. Now, a couple of notes about this razor is uh, All right, a couple of notes about this razor. I was able to get uh, about five or six shaves out of a blade, which um, reminds me of the Wizomet or the Whole Silver Super Iridiums. Uh, I get multiple shaves out of this blade, whereas I generally only get two shaves out of every other blade and one shave out of some blades as well. Now with the feathers, the feathers on the first is a little harsh and I usually get weepers. And I found, well not harsh, it's just really, really sharp. You gotta be careful with it. I found the same thing to be true about this blade. It's really, really sharp on the first one until about the fifth or the sixth, uh, which it starts to dull down uh, noticeably, but it doesn't pull and tug like a lot of razors do at that point. So you could technically force it to go farther, or if you had um, softer facial hair, possibly take it past that point. Uh, which, I mean, that's phenomenal to get a blade that even gets three or four shaves. But So I got about 16 to 18 passes or so out of uh, the blade. So that's awesome. What's up, shavers? Welcome to the Shave Den, <laughs> aka bathroom. So today, we're not only going to be using the Stranglet blade, or Stranglet, we're going to be using Kiritamati, or Kiritamate, but Kiritamati, I'm pretty sure that's what Doug said. <laughs> I had to ask him like five or six times, or at least other people as well, how to pronounce this. Tricky, tricky, Doug. But uh, check this out. Pretty, A. Eh? Sick holographic label. The release, I think he said the first 50 will be getting the new holographic labels. Pretty cool stuff, eh? All right, so, by the way, the sense on this, here's a splash, by the way, is uh, Frankincense Myrrh and West Indian Bay, which is what this leaf is in here. Check this out. Got two of them floating around in there, I think. Yeah, two or three. It's really cool. Which apparently is slightly different from the normal bay 
realm. Now, if anybody actually knows me behind the scenes, I hate the traditional beta realm. I'm one of the haters. I'm sorry. It is what it is. But I'll tell you what, I have found like five bay rums that I actually like, and they're all from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. So uh, this is one of them. In fact, when I picked it up, I picked up two other subs with it, Boomtown Bay Rum and uh, Future Fiction, so that aside. Uh, this was at the uh, Idaho meetup, by the way. I was blown away how good these smelled. In fact, I don't think I'd plan on buying too much at the event. <laughs> But these scents in person changed my mind. So uh, this is gonna be my first use of this actually. Now, not first use on CK6, I've used it plenty. Same thing with the Coke and Butter slash CK1. Dude, the smell, oh, it is a beautiful, like I couldn't have imagined too many other scents that would be more beautiful than this for a Christmas time. All year, really, but man, is it good for this time of year cool all right so we have that whipped into a beautiful lather look at the sheen on that boys got them peaks good stuff I'm gonna wipe down the neck of course we'll be using the stranglet blade what a funky name in now we've used this in three razors so far. We've used it in the pre-war tech, which I liked it in. Very nice. This is the Rockwell uh, 6C on setting 5, and I've used setting 6 with it as well. Both both of them on the head and uh, the neck. Uh, and I have the two, the top two loaded in uh, the leaf. And man, is it smooth and is it sharp? The Like I said earlier, the first shave reminds me a lot like a feather where it's you got to be careful i i got to be honest the first shave i don't know if i was in a hurry or what but man did i it was a bit of a, a bloodbath to be honest i generally never have those uh on a really rare occasion and i i don't know i guess i just wasn't expecting it to be that sharp or if my winter time and my neck was just having some issues or what uh, second use on this particular blade, by the way. But man, uh, so <laughs> the second time around, I guess I paid a little more attention and I got both shaves were perfectly smooth and every shave I've had after that with these. But <laughs> there was something, I don't know what I was doing wrong in that one, but uh, man, got me good. Like feathers do, every single time I use a feather, at least the first shave, which I only do two shaves with feather, uh, I get weepers. Doesn't matter. Generally, the same thing so far with this blade. Uh, so, and we're gonna try to get close up so you can get some of that feedback. Hmm. This soap smells so good. So, uh, like stated before. Swedish steel. Double coated. I don't know if it's the steel. Oh, well, it's this. The coatings are for durability is what you said. I think and the steel is for the initial toughness and strength of the blade. And I'll tell you what, between a PTFE and a platinum coating, it is not only sharp, but it stays sharp. It stays really sharp for the first, uh, I'd say, eight to ten passes, however many shaves that is for you. And uh, after that, it, it starts doling, uh, but it doesn't start ripping your hairs out like... Uh, some blades do you know some blades you can tell they're just done done and you're like all right or you get a terrible terrible shave feeling afterward and it's just like man that was not all right i haven't even though i've gotten five or six shaves out of a blade 
which is unheard of for me. Uh, I did not experience that. So, and what I did, by the way, this is the blade that I got those shaves out of, several shaves, and you can see that there's nothing, like, there's no rust or tarnish or anything on it. And all I did after I was done with the blade, I blew it off and then I palm stropped it like this on both sides. And I also kind of have my own finger stropping technique where I take and I pinch and pull out. You gotta be careful with this. I don't recommend this for everybody. But um, you pinch medium pressure and that kind of hones the blade kind of like a strap wood on either side. And it just gets a teeny, teeny bit more life out of a blade. Some blades I don't do that at all because it's not worth it. Uh, this blade obviously is, so I just, you know. Beautiful, beautiful feedback. I did notice that I like it better in this heavier razor. Now, this is a much lighter razor uh than this and i do like it in a heavier razor your mileage may vary of course this is a great scent uh other notes let me see here um there was so little glue on the actual blade that at first I thought it didn't have any glue whatsoever. Which, I'm not sure I've seen the like of that in the shave world. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see. Du -du 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 -du. So to me, these blades have the longevity of a pole silver or wisdomet blade. Which are my favorite blades. And you can see right now I got a little something. I don't know if that's an ingrown hair or what is going on right there, but I'm able to shave over that perfectly fine using the proper pressure and not trying to do it. Beautiful. Now for the cheeks, I just take a little bit of water on these two fingers and sweat this down. Generally, I do it after a shower, obviously, which I'm actually not doing today, funnily enough. And then uh, I'll just take a little bit of lather like this. That's it. And then uh, I like to see my lines here. So I don't end up cutting too far back on the beard. This one, uh, these are tricky because I just gotta use just the tip of the blade. Yeah, I like that sometimes get reapers there because I normally just go straight against the grain. That's just easier to get it. I've been adjusting that to waste them against. Alright, right, last thing. Can I get a good shake? As you should always. One thing I love about Douglas is these aftershave colognes aftershave and cologne they're so good they're so good they generally last all day you can see those uh 
Baileys flowing around in there. I think he actually said they were the West Indy type of bay leaf, which is interesting. So. I love how small that dropper is. You can do that cool trick. Ooh. Oh yeah, that one's gotta burn. That one has gotta burn, boys. Oh, the scent, it's so beautiful. It's like a Christmas cologne. Oh. All right, final thoughts. I love this blade. I absolutely, where's the package? Final thoughts, love it. I love this blade. The packaging is cool. Uh, I think it's really well done. Um, I love the longevity of this blade. Uh, it's phenomenal. It is sharp, it is smooth. Never had, uh, the only interesting kind of issue was the, the blade tabs being kind of sharp. They have little teeth on one side and a little hook on the other. That's just however they manufacture it or whatever, uh, or cut it out or stamp it out or whatever. And um, I've seen some have that and some don't. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful scent, guys. If you don't have this or these blades, you should pick them up. This is going to be released soon. First 50 or 100, I think it's 50, get this, holographic label. Oh, and by the way, uh, the price on the blades at the moment are $16.95. $16.95. And uh, if you want to pick either one of these up, or anything else by Douglas, I'll have a link, affiliate link in the description below. Thanks for joining me on this shave. It's an awesome one. I highly recommend you trying these. Cheers.